Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have round one of the German National Championship, and we have, these are the wrong names, I already know they are, this isn't Jack Verma, okay, well, well, the names will be fixed here in a second, also, this is a, this is a Tayfun, he has Traden, Gamma, Foxy Tune, Bull, I'm happy, uh, a lot of the decisions that he's making is a lot of the decisions it seems like my list was also taking. I think Traden's crazy in the Therion deck. It just, do you have like 19 cards to work with it or something like that? I don't know, I honestly just made that number off the top of my head because my list kept changing, but I know there's a lot because like every punk card makes Traden live if you really want it to. Uh, they're going to activate Cursed, Pay 8, Feel Great, Go Search Conquistador. Yeah, round one, game one, I'd be scared if my opponent did Kurt. Oh, they're doing Souls. Okay, that's actually way better because that means they're probably not on Floodgate. Are they going to Gamma this? I think it's pretty safe to assume that they're not a Floodgate deck. You could Gamma though because otherwise they're going to send Conquistador Cursed and then they have an Interruption. Also, the glare is kind of wild. Uh, Souls effect, get rid of Scarlet Cursed. Well, I guess they want to get rid of Conquistador Cursed, because then, then you don't have an interruption. You just get rid of Cursed to draw one. Because obviously, like, Cursed can't go send Scarlet from the deck to the graveyard. I wish it could. Uh, they're going to chain Gamma in response to the Souls effect, and then chain Ash in response to that. Okay. So that means your opponent's at least not doing, like, big combos this turn. Because you have Gamma. Uh, then they're going to draw two, Cursed Effect the Dump. Um, just dump Conquistador, Wakero. They're looking through a lot of cards. Yeah, it's definitely not 40. That's definitely over 40. This very well could just be the uh, the deck that, like, Triff play. Hey, there we go. So we got uh, Tayfun. By Arakister versus George Sokaz. Um, I think they're activating right here. Yep. So special summon out token, go bring out Fateful. It's also so weird seeing like the German words. <laughs> Because, like, everything is English, and then there's, like, this being German. Like, the Das Limit One Festival. <laughs> so, it's Punk Eldlish versus Punk Therion. Uh, now they're going to normal summon out Ash Blossom. Uh, not using Fateful to search for Draco back. They're going to get rid of those, go on the Hulk, and now they can, as you see, now they can chain block the Hulk. Hulk 1, Fateful 2. So, go search Draco back, and then special summon. Yeah, so, search Draco. I'm just going to assume that's Draco back. You literally cannot see the card at all. And then, bring out Red Rose. And they can go Fateful, Search Griffin, and then Discard. I don't know, everyone's doing this so they can like discard Draco back for free. But if their opponent has Nib, they get hurt. So now they're going to go Griffin Effect Special. And then... We're going to chain Gamma in response to that. I guess there if you go for Griffin early, even if they have Nib. Oh my gosh, the glare. It's actually beaming off the card now. <laughs> I mean, I can agree with the play that the opponent did, for sure. Uh, wor wor worst case comes to worst, they have Gamma Nib or something, right? Like, cool, you still have Eldritch stuff rolling. So they're going to synchro off, not playing Mirror Mirror because we see Relinquished, go for Shooting Riser, Shooting Riser effect 1, Red Rose effect 2, go summon Rocks Rose, 
And then we can dump snow. Eh, maybe snow, probably though. So summon rocks rose, dump snow, rocks rose effect, go search out the basil rose shoot. And then yeah, they're giving them a option to cut their deck since they went in there to go grab the driver. Probably not fun though, getting full comboed like this through Gamma, game one. Go for Dagda. Also, their records look very weird. <laughs> it should just be, honestly, they should just have nothing there, right? Or zero, dash zero, dash zero, instead of having the S, N, O. Uh, they're gonna go end phase, conquistador, Banish goes set, and then he was like, yeah, I'll just banish these now. It kind of just looks like he's playing with, like, old pink PCs. <laughs> By how, like, crusty the back of them look. Uh, draws the almond for turn. So do we reveal what deck we're on to trade in draw two? We do go trade and discard the draw two. Let's find out. Do we have an out to our opponent's scythe off of this draw? Uh, in response, chain Hulk and then chain Dagda. So set scythe, summon out TG. And then we can TG effect target scythe, but we won't get that until after they get their draw two. Holy! <laughs> Draws E Tedly Endless Engine. Okay, so we're not breaking those. Because TG effect target. We only have one Therion. Our opponent's gonna go for Fleur here also. Yeah. Could Endless Engine dump. Are they going to activate e Telly? Okay, so we're also playing the uh, the Punk Trap, the one that you can search off a spider. That's an Imperm. Okay, so e Telly bring out Ziamen. Ziamen. Uh, Ziamen will try to search out Ogre Dance here by paying 600. They let this go, so I'm trying to look in their deck. Is there anything cool besides like the spider trap? Uh, grabs ogre dance there. Yeah, it's definitely just what you go for, and then yeah, they're gonna go ogre dance, tribute Ziamen, Fleur negate, or they could let it go and pop it with conquistador. Probably what's gonna happen. Z Amon effect to make Ogre Dance gain 600, so it is now at 31 attack. So it has enough attack to actually be over Fleur. But you know, it's not gonna be able to do that. Uh, looks like they wanna go Deer Note effect, reveal itself in Z Amon. Uh, looks like they're asking him. Oh, they're asking him what Ogre Dance does exactly. It does have the effect to also gain attack on field, and it has the effect where you can send it to search on field. 
except for level eight. Dirno, get rid of, or not get rid of, reveal Z Almon. You can either special summon out Z Almon or the Deer Note now. So summon Z Almon, send Deer Note. And then bowl effect, target Deer Note. They're gonna read it, but Fleur for sure negates this. Right? Otherwise they get Deer Note to summon back. Oh, they're gonna search the card. That's cool. I like how you can just like look at the picture of it and then it brings up the card. So probably just different languages. Maybe these players are from different countries or maybe they just have a foreign theory on bowl. Who knows? But in response to theory on bull okay let it go so that's gonna go ahead clip deer note it's just like bull can use its effect target floor to be i don't know then they get ogre dance to gain attack but who cares if you're just popping it anyways with conquistador you're gonna snow set it okay i mean this works because they get the summon back out of body it's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna do a lot, I should say. Let's him beat over Dagda. So, banish seven, summon snow, activate snow effect, target bull to set, deer note effect, to summon back out Foxy Tune. Chain Wakero to banish the Foxy Tune. Well, obviously now they have to chain the uh, the Scarlet. So bring out Golden Lord, bring out Wakero, banish Foxy. Yeah, when you get to do combo like this, where you have combo plus Eldritch cards, it is so good. It's literally just Adventure Punk. But you also have Eldritch card in the loop. So like now you actually have that engine that you didn't have before. So they're going to go battle phase, beat over Fleur. I don't know. See, I find this insane to play out. Endless engine to go dump. Dump Lily. And then pass turn. I don't think they have any extra Eldest Traps or anything like that. No. No, like, random Conquistador Engraver to banish. Could have used Conquistador at end phase to pop Ogre Dance. Since they know every card and they just have to actually like attempt to go for game now. But I guess they probably just have that anyways. Deck probably just plays one Link Spider, I'm assuming. Uh, Fateful to search and discard. Grab Temple, discard Temple. Temple effect, grab right. And then activate right, uh, special one out the token. And then get rid of token snow golden lord to summon unicorn, maybe Celine. Okay, yeah, goes for unicorn, unicorn effect. Uh, discard Ogre Dance to spin back the Therion. Chain Ogre Dance to gain attack. But like I said before, that just doesn't matter. I mean, it could have even Ogre Dance get rid of itself to go search for follow-up. Tayfun may as well have done that. Because 
like the ogre dance doesn't do any like it literally doesn't even like it's not even a body like it's literally just an extra they just have to get an extra attribute engraver for access code like it's too easy to do yeah so he just submits defeat there fall i mean the follow-up wasn't gonna do anything I, anyways like uh but going on into the next game now to game two we're gonna see tayfun start off with ogre dance get rid of itself to go search the almond i think <laughs> uh the almond effect in response, chain effect Veiler. They have, oh my gosh, they have three Therions, two Therion monsters, a trap, and the punk trap. Yeah, so that, um, that punk trap, I'm pretty sure that's the one that targets a face up Therion you control and a Therion in the graveyard. Equip that card from the graveyard to that card. They're gonna banish, go search. I read over like all the extra like theory on stuff before. Seems very good. Um to like look through the cards that you have options. But yeah, ending on Z Almond's pretty bad. Now they're gonna activate right. So special summon out the token, go bring out Fateful. Yeah, honestly, just right. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know how Tayfun beats right if they have anything else. Cause all they have is Imperm. So now Let's find out. Do they have E-Tally? Do they have it? They're going to go ahead and Fateful here to search and discard. So setting up Griffin Negate. Yeah, grab Griffin. And then pitch from the hand to the graveyard, the Gamma. I'll say it, Gamma and Valor. Yeah, they just weren't playing last turn. Maybe they didn't have Gamma last turn, though, because there could be an argument like you want a Gamma Zeom and to get it off field. And then have Valor. But also Gamma can't hit Punks. I mean hit uh, Darions. Which they might be able to get live. Uh, they're going to go Foxy Tune. Get rid of itself and Draco back to go special. So bring out the Zeomen. Uh, Draco back effect to equip. You could go Draco back effect, bounce back row, or you could Zeomon effect, pay to go search, and then Draco back, bounce back row. Try to bait like Imperm or something on Zeomon. Okay, so that goes through. Uh, search out the Ogre Dance. And then Draco back effect, bounce back row. Uh, bouncing the Theory on one. So that's what they wanted them to hit because that card wasn't doing anything. Deer Note with Ogre Dance. So get rid of Ogre Dance, summon out Deer Note. And then Deer Note, Zeomon, probably summon Popega Ruler. Popega Ruler, Chain Link 1, Deer Note, Chain Link 2. If Popega Ruler hits an Eldritch card, that's also absolutely huge, is what they're thinking in their head. Because they're thinking at this point. My opponent has to have like Imperm set, Nib in hand, or something along those lines to be able to win. Hits two Illusion, two Nib, and a Foxy tune off of this. Well has a lot of options on the add back. But no Eldbush. Okay, so grabs Illusion. Illusion does say draw two. No, Papega Ruler and Z Almond look like they were going to turn into Hauk. But they're thinking it through if it's worth going for Hauk or not. Activate Illusion effect. So go search Souls and then put back. Yeah, I like playing the double illusion. One souls, one illusion isn't horrible. But if you play double illusion, double souls, then like 
you have the option with your illusion to put back a brick and then keep illusion in hand as a body for next turn also to try to go for a game. Uh, souls draw two. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's slowly but surely going to be game. His time will come. Okay, so he has five monsters on board. Griffin token, I don't think they're leaving at this very moment. Uh, so they're going to turn Pepega Ruler and Z Amen. Are they thinking about going? Yeah, they're going to go for Punisher. They're both at 74 right now. Uh, Punisher, pay a thousand to banish souls and banish the back row. They're going to chain. Gabu on the Griffin. Yeah, you don't want to target Punisher because they pay a thousand for cost to activate that effect, so they are now unaffected by it. Doesn't, uh, don't they get the gang 2000 also? Am I wrong? Uh, I'm actually going to look that up. That effect, I'm going to be honest, uh, I barely ever played that trap card. And even when you do play that trap card, you know that effect like almost never came up. So I may as well look it up while he is uh, losing the game. Yeah, so reading over it. Uh, you target one effect monster, your opponent controls, negates effects until the end of this turn. Then if you control a punk monster, gang attack, or gang life points equal to that monster's original attack. Okay, but uh, they just lose there, so... Yeah, with uh, that being said, that is it for round one. I will be back at it with round two coming shortly.